All right, got all my plants out of here, my transplants, and getting ready to uh, start up the hydro system again. Um, you might recognize this for my, it was actually serving as my grow table for my seed transplants for my tomatoes and peppers and everything. Right now I'm running bleach water through the system just to clean it out. I, uh, in order to clean it, I take a rag and I'll just stuff it in the last hole here and I'll push it from one hole to the next and all the way down the tube. It cleans it out pretty well. I'll leave this bleach water to run through here for a day just to kill anything that could be in there and uh, after that I'll run regular water through it for another day empty everything out, empty all the water out and uh, add my nutrient solution in there wanted to show you what I was actually using for the drain system which these are the, I believe it's a half inch PVC and a o-ring that fit perfectly around it and it just so happens that it fits right into the middle of those fittings it took a lot of experimenting to figure out what worked um, the fittings I actually got at Cabela's or Bass, Bass Pro I think and they're called a through-hole fitting for a boat. Um, give you a closer view of one on here that I haven't installed yet. So yeah, there's the fitting. It's just a compression fitting, basically. I drilled a hole through the PVC in order to make sure it doesn't leak. Um, for sinks, they make a washer. Yeah, that's on there too tight. But there's a washer in there that... Uh, basically stops any water from leaking out. Um, this fitting, that pipe's not fastened, was for a drain. It has a larger end. I can't remember what it's called. There's a number on it. Maybe that'll help you look it up. Or a barcode. Um, but yeah, it's got a, it's for a sink drain. I can't remember what they're called. But it also fit perfectly through this through hole fitting. Um, show you there. It just fits right over and then I drilled holes through the manifold and it just fits right in there. Those, the two tubes on the end aren't strapped down, that's why they're wiggling everywhere, but I used a metal strap to strap down the other ones on both ends. Oops. And also on the drain side you can see I used another one of those uh, rubber sink washers or drain washers uh, to uh, make sure it didn't leak from the top side either. Took me a while to figure that out, but it worked out pretty well. I'll give you an update on this later on as I uh, get some stuff growing in it. I haven't decided what I'll grow. I've, I'm either going to grow lettuce or spinach. Um, we just got our certified naturally grown uh, certification approved, and you can't certify organic or certified naturally grown hydroponics. Um, you have to grow in a soil medium and so I can't certify this so whatever I grow in here I can't sell as certified naturally grown at the market even though the nutrient solution I'm using is made from fish meal, composted seabird, guano, kelp, rock ph phosphate, potassium carbonate bunch of other natural uh, ingredients. It's an organic based plant food but Botanicare, some of their uh, products are approved on the OMRI website but the hydroponic stuff you can't get organic certified so I'm trying to debate what I don't want to grow certified naturally grown and what I do, lettuce or spinach. I'm leaning towards growing spinach in here and just forgetting about growing it outside. It seems to sell pretty well in the area and that way I can sell it year long and I just won't even worry about it in the spring and fall. But yep, I'll give you an update in a month or so and let you know how everything's going.